We are gathered here to examine question asked in UPSC or IAS 2017. This is written on the board, derive the expansion path for a firm operating with the Cobb Douglas production function. IAS ka question. MA ka question hota hai, MA in economics. To hota ki, what is Cobb Douglas production function? What are its characteristics? Or graduation mein agar hota, to hota ki discuss the features of Cobb Douglas production function. Dekhe, UPSC mein, to questions ka setting hota hai, उसका उद्देश्य होता है कि लड़के के यहां जो है क्रिटिकल फैकल्टी के पीछे में क्रिटिकल फैकल्टी है जहां भी ब्रेन है पीछे में ब्रेन है उस ब्रेन का टेस्टिंग करना है इसलिए जो लड़के यूपीएससी में टॉप किए हैं या जो अच्छे पोजीशन लाए हैं पटना कॉलेज में हम जब थे वहां से आठवां पोजीशन तक ले पटना कॉलेज से लाए हुए पूरे इंडिया में आठवां पोजीशन आईएएस में और पूरे इंडिया में पहला दूसरा पोजीशन पटना विमेंस कॉलेज लाए हुए हैं जिसने पटना यूनिवर्सिटी का लड़का का एक अपना स्थान रहा है भारतवर्ष में आईएएस में और यही कारण है कि नंबर ऑफ आईएएस जो है प्रोड्यूस्ड वो काफी अधिक रहता है बिहार स्टेट से तो बिहार स्टेट के लड़के आंसर बाद में तैयार करते हैं पहले क्वेश्चन को बारीकी से अध्ययन करते हैं वर्तमान समय में जो यूपीएससी आईएएस आईपीएस के लिए लोग जो अलाइड सर्विसेज के लिए देते हैं तो उसमें क्वेश्चन एक पेपर में कितना क्वेश्चन आता है तो देखने में रहेगा 10 क्वेश्चन लेकिन सच्चाई है वो 28 क्वेश्चन आता है 28 जिस तरह से जेआर हिक्स का किताब है और रिवीजन ऑफ डिमांड थे लिया रिवीजन ऑफ डिमांड थ्योरी उसमें 28 चित्र दिए हैं उस तरह से यूपीएससी का क्वेश्चन उलट करके देखिए और एबीसीडी एबीसीडी जो टूटा हुआ है उसको गिनिए एबीसीडी 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 करते करते जब लास्ट बोलिएगा तो होगा 28 28 फर्स्ट पेपर में 28 सेकंड 28 लिखने का टाइमिंग अगर तोड़ते हैं तो 12 पांच अक्षर लिखना है तो 12 मिनट सीलिंग हो जाएगा कि 12 मिनट में अपने बात को आपको आना चाहिए 12 मिनट का जो आंसर होगा नोट होगा उसको याद करना भी आसान होगा ये मैं और बीएसबी वाला खतियान नहीं है लंबा चौड़ा पेज पर पेज पर पेज यहाँ एक्सेक्ट उतने ही बात को आप कैसे एक करते हैं ये बड़ा ही महत्वपूर्ण है तो यूपीएससी में आंसर और एक चैप्टर के कितने क्वेश्चंस आए हैं डिफरेंट इयर्स में उसका कलेक्शंस पहले कीजिए तो इसी को कहा जाता है क्वेश्चन पोर्टफोलियो मैनेजमेंट किस पोर्टफोलियो में किस क्वेश्चंस को डालेंगे और एक जो क्वेश्चन जो हमारा होगा कॉब डोगलास प्रोडक्शन पंसद तो हर वर्ष उसे किसी एक फीचर को उसे किसी एक कैरेक्टर को ही आपको पूछेगा और उसमें डीपली आपको समझाना है तो कॉपी क्लास प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन का आठ प्रॉपर्टीज आप लिख रहे हैं तो जो यूनिवर्सिटी का स्टाइल है पांच लाइन छह लाइन सब में लिख दिए होंगे यहाँ आपको एक ही प्रॉपर्टी लिखना है बारह मिनट तक उसी को लिखना है और वो Derive the expansion path for a firm operating with the Cobb Douglas production function. Now, this question is the term hai, wo hai expansion path. Dusra term is Cobb Douglas. 
and the set of the production function. So Mr. Cobb and Mr. Douglas, American economist, have, have developed jointly production function. And what is this production function? This production function is this. Q is a function of L and K. And what is its value in Cobb-Douglas production function? Lambda L to the power alpha K to the power beta mu. This is called Cobb Douglas production function. Cobb Douglas production function. Production function is shown by isoquant. This Q is equal to lambda L to the power alpha K to the power beta mu. So first term is Cobb-Douglas production function. Cobb-Douglas is the name of the economist and production function is technical relationship between input and output. What is production function? Production function is engineering relationship between input and output. Under this production function, Cobb-Douglas production function, Labor and capital, two factors of production are taken into consideration. And lambda is technology that is constant. Alpha and beta, efficiency of labor is denoted by alpha, efficiency of capital is denoted by beta. Mu is random disturbances. Because a production function is of two types, a stochastic production function and deterministic production function. In deterministic production function, there is certainty. But in a stochastic production function, there is uncertainty. Sudden earthquake, sudden cyclone, cyclone sudden uh, flood, sudden tsunami, all these will lead to zero production, even if you have utilized labor and capital. So this is, this mu is random disturbance that is explanatory variable. That will explain that why production is zero, why there is no production, labor and capital are huge. The explanatory variable will tell you that it is because of tsunami. It is because of earthquake. It is because of natural calamities. It is because of sudden famine. Such type of things will be explained by explanatory variable that is mu. According to Cobb-Douglas production function, lambda is constant, alpha beta is constant, mu is constant. Only labor and capital are variable. Cobb-Douglas production function is based upon constant, constant returns to a scale, assumption. Its assumption is constant returns to a scale. It means all factors, it means this is related to long run assumption. This is related to long run assumption. This is long run production function. If it is long run production function, then labor and capital both are variable. 
if you will increase lambda, if you increase labor by lambda, then you will have to increase capital by lambda. Because both labor and capital will be increased by lambda simultaneously. Under Cobb Douglas production function, if production expands, then labor will have to expand. Capital will have to expand. Then this expansion will be by equal quantity. Suppose we take example that lambda by lambda L and, L and K are increased. Then what will be the result? Production will also increase by lambda. Production will also increase by lambda. And this is 45 degree line, starting from origin. Under Cobb Douglas production function, expansion path is known as a scale line. Known as a scale line. Expansion path is a scale line. And it is constant based upon law of constant returns to a scale, so it is always 45 degree. And therefore, a straight line expansion path is always homothetic. We all know that expansion path shows least cost combination of labor and capital, least cost for the for the producer, for producer is always try to maximize production, maximize profit, maximize production and for that they choose that combination of labor and capital which will give a situation of least cost combination least cost combination and least cost combination in microeconomics it is known as optimal combination. Optimal combination. There are two, there is another case. This is a straight line is price of labor, price of capital. And this is a straight line. This is known as ISO cost line. ISO cost line. And this ISO cost line will expand. Whatever be expansion, the rate will be same. Parallel line. Parallel line. This is AB, this is A1, B1, B2, A2. So AB is parallel to A1, B1 is parallel to A2, B2 is parallel to. Likewise. What is this? The ratio of input used is always the same. Ratio of input is input always same. And this uh, uh, gas production path, which is a straight line through the origin. This is through the origin. Expansion path is known as a scale line. Expansion path connects optimal input combination of the scale of production expands. Combination will be optimal. Another thing which we should know that this is ISO cost line. This is ISO cost line. 
and at this point tangency at this point tangency this is called producers equilibrium producers equilibrium producers equilibrium is obtained at point e where factor price line is tangent to isoquant and isoquant is convex to the origin factor price is tangent to isoquant what is how do you get producers equilibrium equilibrium a b line with tangent to isoquant factor price line is tangent to isoquant and at the point of tangency isoquant is convex to the origin this is one situation but suppose this situation is not one but but many look here many then cobb douglas production function q1 q2 q3 at point e at point e1 at point e2 at point e3 there is different different points of producer equilibrium this shows expansion of production e1 from movement from e1 to e2 production expands from movement e2 to e3 production expands therefore this is known as expansion path this is known as expansion path production expansion path and as it starts from origin it starts from origin so it is known as homothetic and it is it represents optimal input combination on the scale e1 is optimal e2 is optimal e3 optimal because optimal condition that factor iso cos line must be tangent to iso point and iso point must be convex to the origin that is being satisfied and then finally we write down marginal productivity of labor my marginal productivity of capital is equal to price of labor by price of capital marginal productivity of labor is price of labor marginal productivity of capital is price of capital marginal productivity is explained with the help of dy by dx in single variable q is a function of l the dq dq by dl q is a function of l dq by dl is marginal productivity but cobb douglas has said that heat production is q is a function of l and k is l and k then dq will be equal to 0 and dq will be equal to del q by del l into dl plus del q by del k into dk is equal to 0 by solving it we will get del q by del l dl equal to minus del q by del k into dk we can cross multiplication 
then we will get right side dk by dl and left side del q by del l by del q by del k. If this is equal to pl by pk, this is called producer's equilibrium. Producer's equilibrium. equilibrium. And what is interesting that minus dk by dl means negative isoquant by negative isoquant, negative isoquant curve. Negative isoquant curve is represented by minus dk by dl. DL. And we have minus dk by dl, number one condition, and number two condition, second order dk by dl square is greater than zero. This is convexity, 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 convexity. Convexity condition. Second order, and this is known as negative. Negative slope. So in curved glass isoquant, in curved glass isoquant, there will be negative slope, and in curved glass isoquant, convex to the origin. Curve will be convex to the origin. Curve will be convex to the origin. Here we draw like this. Dk by dl minus dk by dl. And and second order and second order d square k dl square will be greater than zero that is convex convex to the origin convex to the origin iso quant iso quant will be downward sloping Cobb glass production function isoquant will be downward sloping. Cobb glass production function will be convex to the origin. And expansion path will be generated by different points of producer's equilibrium. Expansion path is created by different points of producer's equilibrium. First point is E1. Second point is E2, third point is E3. So, this starts from zero. This starts from zero because mathematically we can find the situation and expansion path starts from origin linear and homogeneous production function is illustrated. That's all. Thank you.